mostly cloudy skies and winds cranking out of the southwest 10 to 20 miles per hour, an occasional wind gust of 25 actually. Tonight, 30s tonight for lows, high fire danger Friday and Saturday because of those northwest winds cranking 20 to 40, occasionally 50 miles per hour. And yes, Monday and Tuesday we could see two to four plus inches of rain. And here's that storm system that will bring us that rain. It's a slow mover and I'll dive south and then move along the Red River providing us that rainfall. Current temperatures right now 57 in Denver, 50 in Albuquerque and a nice 64 in LA and a 54 in Atlanta. And as for the radar view, chilly conditions here in the Midwest region and a storm system moving off the coast. And guess what? Two to four feet of snow in the northern Rockies. And that's the storm system that's moving our way. Tonight, though, clear, 38 south winds cranking this time of night, 15, 25 miles per hour, and wind gusts up to 30 to 35. High fire danger tomorrow, 62 for your high. And look at the winds south, 20 to 40, an occasional gust to 45, not 40. Sorry about that, 45 miles per hour and no chance of rain. Tonight's lows, 30s, 34 in Alva, 39 in Ponca City, and the warm spot, Ardmore, 40. And as for tomorrow, 60s across the whole state, we might actually hit 73 in Guymon and 62 here at home. Here's your Bronco five-day forecast. Tomorrow, 62 for your high, 71 topping, your, topping it off on Saturday. And then a cold front will move through Saturday night, and we'll be back in the 60s. And then look at that, a high of 48 on Monday with a 60% chance of rain. And we could see two to four inches. You're up to date with your weather forecast. Let's head it back to the desk. We have a lot of severe weather going on right now, especially in southwestern Oklahoma. Numerous tornadoes have been reported, especially around the Altus and Hobart area. And these thunderstorms are progressing northeastward towards the metro. So you're advised to, uh, to uh, watch the weather as the conditions continue to change. Well, right now in the Fort Cobb area, a tornado has been reported on the ground and moving northeast. It is a Stoke 5 tornado, and those are pretty pretty big if you if you know mm -hmm. weather terms. So if you live in that area, make sure you watch out. And uh, But it will clear up, so there is some good news. Tomorrow, 50% chance in the morning, and then look at that, a nice week to come. On April 19, 1995, Oklahoma City was changed forever as Timothy McVeigh ignited a truck bomb in front of the Murrah Federal Building killing 168 innocent men, women, and children. Sixteen years later, the memorial built for this tragedy is expecting their two millionth visitor. Although never forgotten, this is just another step into continuing the healing process. The memorial not only brings friends and family who lost loved ones here, but this museum is also an educational tool to teaching people all over the world what violence can really do. Sixteen years ago, Oklahoma City saw sadness and sorrow. Sixteen years later, we have hope and desire to move on with our heads held high. And of course, April 19, 1995 will never be forgotten. Reporting for News Central, I'm Kyle Renfro. Not say long, it'll continue to drop throughout the day. It'll probably be around 23 degrees about 4 p.m. And 100% chance of snowfall beginning at 6 p.m. And... Uh, some of that snowfall could be heavy at times, so make sure you check your travel plans tomorrow night. Tonight, though, fair skies to mostly cloudy. 31 in Duncan, 28 in Ardmore, 27 here in the metro. Cold spot 16 in Tulsa. Tomorrow it gets interesting. 29 for your high in Enid, 31 in Tulsa. Edmond coming in at a 34, and those temperatures will continue to drop throughout the afternoon. So what you see there really won't be there long. Here's my forecast snowfall totals. Three to six up in the panhandle. The pink indicates six to 12 inches, including the Oklahoma City and Edmond area. As you head north into Guthrie, Stillwater, Bartersville, and Tulsa, there is a band that could see 12 plus inches of snow that could either shift north or south. It depends on the current track of the storm system. Four to eight in Altus and Lawton in places like Duncan. So you need to get prepared for this winter storm these next couple days, either by going to the grocery store, filling up your gas tank in your car, just get ready for it. This edition of the huddle with the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs capture their second straight win. And with the Edmund North Huskies remain undefeated as they took on the Mustang Broncos. Finally a home game for the Broncos. Would it be a home sweet home welcome? It's time to get excited because the huddle starts now.
right, thank you for joining us on this week's episode of The Huddle. I'm your host, Terry Fox, and alongside me are my co-hosts, Kyle Renfro and Courtney Landsberger. And for the second week in a row, all three Edmond High School teams came away with a win. And our very own Broncos got their first win of the season on homecoming. We'll have all the highlights, but first, let's take a look at some high school football. Courtney, what do you have for us? Well, in an exciting game, Edmond Santa Fe once again pulled an upset, this time against the number six ranked Lawton Wolverines. I, you guys, I don't know what it is with Santa Fe and nail-biter games, but I kind of like it. Get this, in the fourth quarter with just nine minutes remaining in the game, the Lawton Wolverines had a comfortable lead against the Wolves at 33-21, to but Santa Fe soon rallied back and 19 points later won the game. Uh, just 29 seconds left, the Wolves trailed uh, Lawton 36-34, but Justice Hansen, once again, we've been talking about him this whole entire season of the show. I mean, he's great. He faked a pass. You know, and they got the game-winning point. I mean, it's just, it was great game. Great game. That sounds like it was interesting. I mean, you got two top ten teams battling it out again, and Santa Fe, once again, proved how strong they really are this year. And I think we'll see. Yeah. I, I still can't wait to see that Edmund Santa Fe and Edmund North game. I I'm, think yeah. it's going to be very interesting I'm to see I'm looking the forward to that one, is. definitely. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Kyle, speaking of wins, uh, your Bulldogs pulled one off on their second, pulled off their second one this season. Yeah, they did. The Bulldogs coming off their first win, second win of the season, first win of the season last week. And sorry about that. Could they make it two in a row against more Lions? Let's find out. Thursday night football, Edmond Memorial taking on the Moore Lions. The Lions would strike first with this 26-yard field goal. Memorial's first drive of the game, number 18 would slip his way through the defenders as if the defenders weren't even there. This would set up a first and goal for the Bulldogs. The very next play, number 21, would dash his way in for six. Moore threatening late, but the Bulldogs say, uh-uh. Number three with this leaping INT. Memorial late, hands off the number 18 with this 20-yard dash in the end zone. Memorial would wind up winning this game 13-10. That would do it. Memorial would get their second win of the season, second straight as well. They'd win this one over more 13 to 10. They're at Choctaw next this Friday at Choctaw. Uh, so guys, Memorial now two and three. You think the Bulldogs are for real this season? How's the weather looking for us this weekend? Can you give well, us that? I, I did enjoy that uh, wet weather we had last night. So hopefully we can get some of that if we look at our Bronco five day here. Um, we're gonna cool off a little bit, but a little warming trend towards the end of the towards the end of the weekend, and then we're gonna get another cool front coming in on Monday with another chance of rain, and uh, that'll get us back into the 80s. Very nice. nice. Look forward to it. Wait, gotta get outside. Yeah. 